Today's economy has taught people to be more conscious with their money, and with fishing boats we usually see them paired up with fish skis, not as much fish cruises. That is, until today, when we look at our Phoditis subject, a Striper 2605 walk-around. The name Striper has been around since the 60s and is one you'll find on many different sizes of waterways. The 2605 is a versatile boat, and a lot of boat for the money. However, at 25 feet 7 inches with an 8 foot 6 inch beam, it's easily managed with a light crew and can still be trailered. This model has the optional hardtop that would appeal to both serious fishermen and boaters alike. Rocket launchers are a great way to keep rods off of the cockpit floor. Since this is a walk around model, there's a secure handrail for approaching the forward deck. Wide passageways, ample deck space, an anchor roller and even a cozy seat round out the favorable deck features. Fishing and cruising are well in the Striper's wheelhouse and we have obvious fishing features like things like the rocket launchers and this extra deep lighted and aerated bait well. But when it comes down to cruising, it has a really easy and cozy bench for two. Large in-floor fish lockers can be used just for that or can be converted into storage compartments. A transom walk through to a swim ladder shows the Striper's playful side. You'll notice most of the storage has rubber gaskets. This is a nice touch for reducing annoying rattles and noises. Under the hardtop, you're protected by the optional canvas package. Island cottagers will love this feature. The helm on the 2605 is very simple, with a large space to flush mount your electronics of choice. There's a small gauge cluster to the right, and the switch panel is at hand on the left. Opening the doors into the cabin reveals a clean, spacious spot to overnight with some pleasant surprises. As we've seen, durability and versatility is the name of the game with this striper, and this cabin shows it. We have this really awesome food prep area, but the surprises keep coming, as there's this awesome little butane stove tucked away. And sometimes on the used market, you find gems like these because I don't think this thing's even ever been used. It's not a galley by any stretch, but the area is definitely functional. There's a porta potty on the starboard side. And when you put in the last filler cushion, you have a massive sleeping area for a couple. While most are used to seeing these boats without boards, this model has the 300 horsepower Volvo Penta 5.7 GI with plenty of room to service it. On the water, the 2605 is impressive in both its stature and its performance. You know what's nice about the Striper, whether you're fishing or cruising, you can always find yourself in hairy conditions. So if the wind and the waves pick up kind of like what we're dealing with now, you know that it can take what gets thrown at it. The 2605 rode well and responded positively to trim and tab controls. It was on plane at 2,500 RPM and at 3,000 RPM cruised at 23 miles per hour. 4,000 was 32 miles per hour, and it reached a top speed of 38.6 miles per hour. Load it up with gear and crew, and you'll lose a few points, but that's not what this boat is about. Fishing is obviously well-rooted in the Striper, and it's clear with all the features throughout the boat, but I think as we've seen, it's definitely well-suited for cruising as well. There's plenty of room for deck chairs, protection from the element, and even a great cabin for sleeping. So it would certainly make a great versatile used buy.